Shabe, I'm the managing director of Family Pots Care Center, Africa Seeds. a seed company that was founded in August 1999. This year, 2019, we are celebrating 20 years of existence. Fika Seeds is a summary name for Farm Input Care Center. Our business concept is to look at the requirements of the farm for every category of a farmer. Initially, we were looking at fertilizer, we were looking at agricultural chemicals, agricultural implements, and seeds for planting. But later, around 2003, we chose to concentrate on improved seed crop varieties. We are involved in the entire value chain of seed, starting from material development, which is research and development, production of pollen seed materials, barking of certified seeds, processing and packaging and awareness creation among the farming communities, and we get money by selling the improved seeds to the various categories of farmers and stakeholders. We have an opportunity in the current situation of climate change to continuously innovate so that we bring crop varieties that are adaptable to the climate change. We are also bringing in innovations in other aspects of the seed value chain. One of the innovations we are bringing in is traceability of our seed varieties. We are putting in place an ICT-based platform that can track the entire process of seed production in real time using what we commonly refer to as seed assure. The other innovation is in seed processing, where we are right now installing a state-of-art technology that will trace every package of seed with what we call barcodes. And finally, we are also packaging our seed in well-customized packaging materials that will have instructions, the farmers, alongside the certification by the Ministry of Agriculture Regulator, the National Seed Certification Services. Thank you and I hope with these innovations the farmer will benefit from the farming and the agribusiness sector will benefit the climate adapted crop varieties. Um, by names, Mpairwe Jime, in charge of uh, production in the Fika Seeds. Where we are here, we are in one of the locations where we do our seed multiplication. This is our mother garden. If you can see, this is called shoot bagging. This is uh, what we call shoot bagging. Uh, in fact, we get 100 uh, grams from the researchers in Namlonge, of which is not enough uh, to give out to our farmers. So uh, its importance is in two, two. One is uh, we want to make sure there is no any fo uh, foreign pollen which has dropped onto our maize which we have shot bagged. Then the second one is uh, to do seed increase. You see now the maize has no silk at all, and this is the stage at which we normally cover our maize crop. There will be no any foreign pollen coming onto this maize crop. After which, after we have monitored this one, after the emergence of the silic, what we do is we don't allow any pollen. So you collect as you have covered with your hand. So you shake the tassel, then you come gently you remove gently as pointing downwards no escape of any pollen so you come slowly 
and uh, you have to uh, guard against where the wind is coming from. The, this paper bag, you staple. The importance of all this, why I'm doing all this, to do seed increase. Secondly, I uh, was to do to carry out varietal purity. Uh, this this one, now I have successfully done the shoot bagging in my mother uh, garden. Whereby now, uh, after harvesting from this mother garden, what I will do is to take my seed now out in one of the locations which is well isolated to do random pollination by itself. This is a Fika seed maize, it's called Wema 3106. It is drought tolerant, not resistant but tolerant. You can see. You see how big the cob is with this uh, variety at 106. Uh, we have seven varieties of hybrids which Fika uh, uh, is, is producing currently. We have 31 Wema and 21 14. Uh, these ones, the, the advantage uh, is the, they use little moisture in the soil and makes a difference compared to other varieties. In fact, it helps us. Uh, to do our irrigation in off season to offset our constituting what we would call single cross hybrids. This is uh, the pipe I'm holding. In fact, it assists us in pumping water uphill to irrigate off season varieties. Uh, the single crosses I have shown you there. I'm um, by the name of Ndahiro Jimmy. I'm a farmer of Fika seeds. I do hybrid at the farm. I have been provided with the land. Uh, we are about to six farmers operating on an area of around 400 acres. Uh, Fika seed has indeed helped us as a community around in doing modern farming. It has helped us to improve on our incomes. Fika always helps us to plow and the soft loans when we are hard up it provides us with advances whenever it is ready there is always there are always stores so we don't have a problem with the storage I've heard from the last farmer that we don't even market our product within Uganda but even across borders like Sudan Congo Kenya and so on so as we have three of them of 400 metric tons in case they are full of maize. In fact, our farmers when they have it. The farmer, they get price. These are the cribs. In fact, them to make storage facilities uh, for such a maze of which cribs in the total. Each crib is carrying 40 metric tons of maize. Uh, my name is Christy Tukahiva. I work as the quality control at Fika Seeds. Uh, after the processes as given above by my colleague Jimmy Peiwe in production, Seed, the production goes up to the table when the seed is scraped, harvested and scraped by the farmers. Then our quality control work starts from the creep level up to when the processing is all through. Uh, what happens, we do farm stock approval at farm level. We test for moisture so that we can know at what level the seed was, was harvested. So at farm level we pick some hops which we come and shell manually because we are picking from there are few we pick here and there then come and shell manually and put them in the divider so after we have, we have mixed our seed well and with the divider we bring it to the weighing scales because we just pick a working sample not all of it so after we have mixed our, our sample very well with the divider we bring it to the weighing scales sample we bring it to a working table uh, we start doing the three major tests on that, the, the, the three major tests on that sample. For example, whatever. 
then after that test we we do the moisture to determine uh, whether the whether the seed should be lifted to the factory or we should wait uh, after the purity and germination and the moisture content tests we come to our germination test which is the most important because we want to know the seed we are going to receive from farmers is it viable from farmers is it viable it is not so that we can reject at that level before it comes here now we, this 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 dishes here uh, help us to germinate our seed each each sample is done in four replicas uh, then the average we get is what determines the percentage of germination we have for each variety of each sample that is under testing. So we use, at germination testing, we use particularly sand from Lake Albert, not sand from anywhere else. Because this sand has pH which is similar, which is similar to the normal soils which we use for planting. And the, also the water retention and also the ability to be reused for two, three, four times. Um, but also other methods, we use, we use the Rizalia method, which is only for eight hours, gives you result in 48 hours. And also the bloaters, which we use for special smaller grains. So this is the sand, we prepare it in advance before the exercise of the germination testing. And the, we, we keep it in the lab, so that we do everything in a timely manner. Things which help us in the seed testing processes, um, the, the seed blender, the, the, the microscope helps us test the seed health. The moisture meter, this one goes all the way through until we finish the processing, uh, the, the processing uh, procedure. All the time we are referring back to the moisture and, and the moisture meter. This is a, a seed oven. It also helps us uh, test the moisture. When we have not used the moisture meter, we use the oven. Um, this is more accurate, much as it takes longer time. So we usually opt for the moisture meter because it does more samples than the oven. Um, this is a sand sterilizer. Before we put the sand, put the seed into the sand, we put to sterilize it to kill any contaminants so that our, our germination results are not biased. And these are seed incubators. When we have used the blotters method, when we have used the blotters to germinate the seed, as I told you before, we put them in the incubators. And then this is our lab library. Whenever we have any issues, then we have to refer. We study them to know what, how we should deal with the seed, which has issues. Now, at, at the end of the day, or after all the, the tests have been done and we have advised the factory and the management accordingly, we go into seed treating and the, the processing and treating and then we bring out the finished product, which you see here. Uh, and as you see, all of them named differently, there are different varieties. And all this has been tested in this lab and proved that it's good seed for the customers to, to buy and take for planting. We are now at the main factory, whose work starts with the web bridge. And when the seed comes in the vehicle, we, we weigh it whole. After, after the, the seed comes from, from the bridge, the lab takes the sample, then it comes to the intake form. When the seed is lifted from the intake hopper, we lifted it in different sections of the factory. When it's dry, it goes to the dry the cleaner. When it's not dry, it goes to the dry bin. These are the dry bins. One, two, three, four, five, six. Here we have one, two, three. There are six bins. From the dry bin, we come to the elevator here. From the elevator to the tree cleaner, up. Thank you.